A group of local celebrities joined 10-year-old Anthony DeMelweek in a sponsored run for Zoe's Place this evening. Patty, the batty, Pimblet described baby hospice Zoe's Place as a staple of the city, as he took part in a sponsored run in aid of the hospice this evening, Monday. The MMA fighter, alongside Meatball, Molly McCann, singer Jamie Webster, comedians Adam Rowe and Paul Smith, boxer Jack Turner, TikTok star Ryan Hall and staff from Flux, a local activewear brand, joined 10-year-old Anthony Demelweek on his mission to save the hospice from closure by the end of the month. Zoe's Place provides respite, palliative and end-of-life care for babies and children up to the age of five. The hospice announced the devastating news on Monday that the center would close before the end of the year and that staff would lose their jobs in 30 days. People all over Merseyside are joining the citywide campaign to ensure that doesn't happen. The sponsored run began from Anthony's home in Croxteth to Zoe's Place in West Derby, where the group were met by dozens of cheering Zoe's Place staff. Over the next month, Anthony is aiming to run 48 miles in aid of Zoe's Place over the course of 20 runs. Anthony's sister, Amelia, 9, has cerebral palsy, scoliosis and epilepsy, leaving her unable to walk or talk. Like many others who have received help and support from Zoe's Place over the years, Anthony and his family see Zoe's Place as a lifeline. Famous faces from across the city have pledged their support, from Robbie Fowler to Claire Sweeney and Patty Pimblett. In a post on social media last week, Patty said he would do everything he can to help raise the funds for the hospice. He told the Echo, I always say in Liverpool we look after our own. Everyone in Liverpool's come out to help Zoe's place because they know it's a staple of the city. If it closes it's a travesty. The amount of families it's helped over the years. You can't put a price on that. The fact that they've got to raise this amount of money is ridiculous. It's a charity. It will get sorted. We'll all come together and we'll get it sorted this month. Hopefully bigger companies get involved like football clubs. Then it will definitely get saved. Little Anthony is a legend. He comes to the gym with me, we see him every day. He's proper dedicated, training every day. And then doing this on top of all that, jogging 2.5 miles every day. He's a little hero. When asked how the run went, Patty added, Anthony set the pace. I was at the back jogging thinking, oh yeah we'll go slow here, 12 minute miles. He had us running 10 minute miles. He was leading the pack. I was sweating my head off. The Echo's fundraiser for Zoe's Place has now also launched. Staff members will walk from our office on Old Hall Street to Zoe's Place and back 10 miles on October 26 to do our bit to help save this vital charity in our city. You can find out more here.